everybody. Oh, I don't know why I'm upside down. Give me a second. Hello, everybody. We're only doing the one video today because today I'm going to build a bear to get the How to Train a Dragon um, Toothless Build a Bear. When I heard that they had them, I'm like, I gotta go get one. So I will also be making a TikTok video about that, and I will be uploading that to YouTube so you guys can see how it went. So, anyways, today I reacted to Lost Sand Bucket and Spade. So I might also be filming this while I'm heading out because, yeah. So this is this is gonna be the weirdest YouTube day ever. So let's go. Two of Thomas. Give me the intro because I don't want to get in trouble. They were going to the beach with their parents and were very excited as they were going to be... Okay, I'm sorry to bother. Just give me one second. I'm back. Let's go. Then Polly and their parents went towards Oliver and his train like the other passengers. <coughs> then Oliver puffed away. We're going to the seaside. We're going to the seaside. Okay. They sang as they swung their bucket and spade around. Careful, called their father. You don't want to lose your bucket and spade. So Ben and Polly placed their bucket and spade down and continued their song. But then, place out. your bucket... Okay, give me a quick second, guys. One more thing. All right, no more interruptions. Let's place go. your bucket and spade where you can see them. We know, Dad, we know. They replied and placed their bucket and spade on the seat. I keep forgetting to almost blue. Oliver arrived at Holtroy, and Ben, Polly, and their parents went down to the beach to have their fun. They splashed in the water, ran around the sand at Bolstrode, and best of all, began to build their sand castle. Big enough for a queen, remarked Polly. Hold on, let me get a picture of it with you two, called their mum. Later that afternoon, it was time for Ben, Polly, and their parents to head home. That was fun, Ben yawned. Can we go again? asked Polly. Maybe another day, replied the father. Now have you got your bucket and spade? We do, they both chimed. Good, don't lose them, he said. And soon they climbed into Daisy. When they arrived at Tidmouth Station, there was some time before Thomas's next service to his branch line. Right, who is up for a spot of lunch? Asked the mother. Me, 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 the two children replied. All right, chuckled the mother happily. Don't forget your bucket and spade. Ben and Polly went to gather them, but then they couldn't find them anywhere. We can't find them, Mum, Ben cried. I told you to keep an eye on it, replied the father. All right, your mother and I will find the table while you two find your bucket and spade. We'll see you soon. Polly, look after your brother. This station is massive compared to Farquhar. Yes, Dad, replied Polly. Do you and think so they the left it on Daisy? To search for their bucket and spade. They went to the ticket office. Have you seen our bucket and spade? Asked Ben. Sorry, replied the man. I haven't seen any bucket and spade here. Ben and Polly looked sad, and the ticket man felt sorry for them. Tell you what, why not try the book stand? I'm sure they might have it. So Ben and Polly went towards the new stand and asked the same question, but the woman there hadn't seen it either. Why don't you two try the lost property office? She replied sweetly. I'm sure it'll be there. So they went there, but after searching the premise, they found no bucket or spade. They even asked Sir Stephen Topham Hat, but sadly, like the others, he too hadn't seen a bucket and spade anywhere. Oh, ben no. and Polly were sad. Thank you, sir, they sighed as they made their way towards the station cafe. They met up with their parents and had lunch. After that, they made their way to Thomas. Hello, Ben. Hello, Polly. How was the beach? But Thomas could see the two children's long looks. What's the matter? Then the two children explained to Thomas about their lost bucket and spade. We should be more careful, replied Polly sadly. Dad told us to place them where we would see it. Well, we all make mistakes, Polly. Douglas once shunted my special coach with the others in a siding. But then I found it again. So don't worry, it will show up. Okay. The guard blew his whistle. Guys, I'm green. still watching. I'm just ben, getting ready to oh, come on. Called the mother, and the two children ran towards the door. Meanwhile, the ticket collector noticed something on the platform near some mail sacks. He then knew what it was and made a quick dash from Thomas's coaches. After that, Thomas puffed it? away back to his branch. What was it? But Ben and Polly were still sad that they lost their bucket in Spain. What is the bucket How in Spain? I game? swear, Pass that's the time, what it was. Replied the father. He'll put your mind off about losing the bucket in Spain. This perked the two children up. I spy! Called out Ben. All right, chuckled the mother. 
but mind the volume of your voice, please. There are other people on the train, too. So Ben, Polly, and their parents start to play the game and point out things that begin with the letter as Thomas puffed along his branch line. All right. Just getting ready to head out, guys. I'm going to build a bit. <laughs> but Ben and Polly were still sad about their bucket and spade. At last, they reached the top station. As they disembarked from the train, the right. ticket collector came towards them. I think you two are looking for these, he said, and showed Ben and Polly something that made them gasp. Our bucket and spade, they cried. All right. Thank you. No problem, chuckled the ticket collector. Then he explained where he had seen them. Ben, hey. Polly, and their parents were pleased. Love you, Chloe. Thank you, sir, hey, trooper. replied the father. Kisses. Ben, Polly, I hope this will teach you a lesson Love on keeping guys. or leaving things where you can find them again. The two children agreed and showed Thomas their bucket and spade. I told you it will show up, smiled Thomas. And Ben and Polly went home feeling happy that their bucket and spade were found again. Well, that was a great video. I'll see you all in the next video, guys. Adios, everybody.